Okay guys, so more T-Rex plugins. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is the EQ73, which is an emulation of the classic old Neve 1073 EQ and the Marinier Transformer little preamp there, right? Now this is a fantastic little equalizer. I absolutely love it. It's very, very simple, very restricted in choices. It's a switching EQ right but because it's so simple and because you're restricted in the frequencies you can choose it's so fast to work with and when you choose a frequency to boost or cut those frequencies although there aren't many choices they're musical sweet spots they're really relevant musical sweet spots yeah so um, let me um, let me show you something I've got here okay um this is the East Bay kit out of the box as logic as Apple give it to you and you think yeah when you first hear it you think wow that's included free in logic it's <laughs> that's not bad sounds like someone playing in a room it's pretty pretty good You know, needs a bit needs a bit of mixing, right? Well, this is it with just the 1073 on the kick, snare, and hats. There's some compression, but that's it. I mean, it's a colossal difference. This is the original, and this is just mixed with the 1073 there is some compression but only that equalizer yeah really deep tight thudding kick drum a wonderful thin wooden cracking really lovely fizzy air on the snare wires at the top it's got a nice woody buckety tone slightly almost like the snare from beat it so how did I do it? Well, it's it's so simple with this EQ. First, the kick. Well, th there's two kicks in these Logic multi out kits, and I didn't touch them. I left them as they are from Apple. They've both got a mid-range uh, dip and some treble boost, and they go through then a channel compressor and get a little bit of compression. I just lowered the outer kick drum mic a bit. But what I'm doing then is I'm sending both those kicks to their own bus. And on here, there's a compressor, yes, but I'm using a 1073. All right. Now it was so easy to get the sound. Let's take the EQ out. In. All right. So simple to, to get. Let's reset. Okay. I said to myself, well, I want some deep thud on that kick. Well, if I want deep bass with this equaliser, really deep bass, I've only got two choices, 35 or 60 hertz. That's it. 110 is going to be too high up. That's upper, rounded, warm bass, and 220 is low mid. So to give deep thud to that kick, my only choice is 60 or 35 hertz. I went with 60 hertz and gave it some boost. Right? But then I listened to it and I thought, okay, I've boosted that deep low end thud, but this shelf I'm boosting at 60 hertz, it's extending all the way down to the bottom at 20 hertz because it's shelving up at 60 all the way down to the bottom. So I'll put a low cut below it at 50 hertz, which is going to focus the um, focus that 60 hertz bump. By doing that, what I'm doing is this. I've got a 60 hertz shelf boosting it not that much about 5 db just over right that's created my 60 hertz bump on the bottom end of the kick all the way to the bottom but i don't want it to extend all the way down so i put a 50 hertz low cut below it there like that and you get an 18 db octave roll off on the low cut on the 1073 which is creating that bump i'm carving out just below the beginning of that 60 hertz boost which makes a focus bump there at 60 hertz right Okay. 
Now, I can still hear low mid in the kick drum after the thud. So to carve that out, well, if I want to carve out lower mids, dip lower mids, you know, turn them down a bit, scoop them out, my only choice is, because there's only two choices of lower mid, 360 hertz or 700. 700 is too high up. So it's going to be 360 hertz. And I'm going to dip out at 360 hertz. And that... Carving out of those low mids above the kick drum thud at the real bottom end is really emphasizing that bottom end thud. And what I'm doing there is this. I'm doing a 360 hertz carve out like that. And it's probably about this peaky because this 1073 has proportional Q. The more you boost or cut, the peakier it gets. And I am cutting a lot, 11 dB of cut. So it's probably more like that kind of width. Carving out those lower mids, the emphasis is on that 60 hertz bump at the bottom there, like that, right? And then finally, I want a bit of click at the top. I've only got the 12K fixed shell to use a bit of that. And there's my deep thudding kick. Right, fantastic. Maybe not quite so much treble at the top for that click. Done. Easy, right? Good, deep, thudding kick drum. Now for the snare, again, with these producer patch kits, you get a uh, top mic on the top of the snare and a bottom mic on the bottom of the snare. Well, the bottom mic, I've rolled it down solo. We're not really using it. It's all about this top mic. Okay, there's a compressor on here, right? But again, it's just the 1073 working. Now that is a really nice, thin, but slightly woody tone in the lower mids. Well, that should be like, hang on, that's the wrong EQ. Yeah, that's right now. Yeah, a real, real, edgy cracking snare with a slightly woody tone in the in the lower mid area and a nice fizzy top end for the snare wise now what did it sound like before this eq well there's still compression on it but with the eq out it sounds like this it's a really flabby deep snare it just sounds flabby and so how did I get the EQ on it? Well, again, it was so simple with this equalizer because you don't have huge amounts of choice. Reset, right? So I'm listening to this now. I'm thinking, well, it's really flabby at the bottom end. So I want to cut all that bottom end out. I'll use the low cut for that. Well, 50 or 80 hertz low cut, that's not deep enough to get rid of that deep flabby bottom end on that, um, on that snare. So let's try higher up at we're doing a low cut at 160. No, it's still not getting rid of that honky lower mid. So let's low cut at really high up at 300 hertz. There it is. All that low flabbiness has gone away just by doing a low cut right up at 300 hertz. Okay, then I want some fizz to the snare wise at the top, so I'm going to use the fixed 12k shelf. Right? But not so much, just 2 to 3 dB of it. That's putting lovely fizz at the real top end of the snare wires. And then I listened to it and I thought, OK, we've cut all the bottom flab out. We've given it some real fizz at the very high end. But now it sounds a little bit on the thin side, so I want to reintroduce a bit of woody tone in the mids, lower down in the mids. Well, again, because I'm restricted in my choices for this peak band these are my only lower mid frequency choices 360 hertz or 700 hertz 1.6 is honky nasal mid 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 range mid right and these three frequencies 3.2 4.8 and 7.2 these are treble frequencies so if i want to add some woody tone to the snare in the, in the lower end of the mids my only choice is 700 hertz there No, that's a little bit high up. So it's going to be 360. That's my only choice. 
Yeah, nice woody lower down tone. And just a little bit of that. And that's it. There's my EQ. <laughs> Done. Now the EQ curve I'm getting there is this. But if you EQ'd that snare with a channel EQ like that, would you come up with that EQ curve? It's unlikely. It's unlikely. Right. There's my 300 hertz low cut right up here at 300 hertz, taking all that bottom end flab out. Then a little bit of bump at 360, which boosts here, but the cut at 300 hertz is happening in the middle of that, so it's creating a bump there, emphasizing those woody tones there around 400. 300 ish hertz, 300 and something hertz there, to up to 500. And then the 12k upper end shelf, just to add the fizz at the top. That's the curve. But as I say, would, would you or I, using a channel EQ, would we have come up with that curve? But that's the curve I'm doing with this wonderful little Neve emulation. It's just fantastic. Brilliant. And then for the hi hat. Well, the hi-hat was a bit flabby. Here's the hi-hat. Again, I'm, I'm using the EQ73 on it. Take it out. The hi-hat's a bit flabby, right? So I added some real fizz at the top, 12k fixed shelf, to give it real top, at, top end fizz, right? I used the 300 hertz low cut to cut all the bottom end out. And then I dip the lower mids at 700 hertz. It was a choice of 360 or 700. 360 or cut at, dip out at, at 700. That one, there it is. And there's a nice thin, fine hat now. Easy to get, bing, bang, bong. And that's it, it's so simple. It's such a simple equalizer, but the frequencies, your frequency choices, although restricted, they're musical sweet spots. So you kind of, there's certain things, you're, you're pushed to make choices with where you cut or boost, and they always sound good. They're always relevant. Okay, let me show you another one. So you've got this acoustic guitar. Right. Beautiful sound and so easy to get. Right, so easy to get. So I thought, okay, let's have a listen to it. Turn the output up a bit. Yeah, okay, right, I want some bottom end. Well, 220 hertz is low mid. If I boost, that'll be boosting low mid. It's a little bit up in, up, it's above the bass. It's very low mid. It's a bit too uh, low mid. I want deeper bass. 110? Now, still a little bit rounded. I'm going to go at 60 hertz, the real bottom end of the acoustic. And because this is so low down in the frequencies, I've got to push it a lot of gain at 60 hertz shelf to really start to hear that real, real deep bottom end of the acoustic coming through. OK, but I'm going to low cut below it at 50 hertz, just so I don't get all that real deep bottom end mud down at 34 uh, and 20 hertz, right? So 60 hertz shelf boost to give me that deep bottom end, cutting below at 50 hertz to cut out the mud, right? Then I'll have some high-end sparkle with a 12k fixed shelf. And I spring out a lovely, rich, harmonically rich, ultra treble end. Okay, and then, let's have a listen. I want to, it's still a little bit 
I'm boosting the super deep bottom end. And let's play with the mids now. Now at 360 hertz, which is the lowest mid on this peak band, that's going to make it lovely and warm and rounded. Carve it out a little bit, and I'm dipping down the low mids, boosting right down below at 60, dipping out that low mid a bit. Let's give it some boost on this preamp. What a sound. This, it's a great, great little EQ, this. It's one of my favourites. This is the EQ73, uh, which, as I say, is an emulation of a Neve 1073. It's got proportional Q. The more you boost or cut, the peakier it gets on the peak band. 18 dB roll off on the um, low cut here. And they've done a really nice job of modelling that harmonically rich drive on that um, Marinier preamp there. It just just adds that little bit of extra something, or you can drive it really hard and it'll it'll grind a bit. You know what I mean? But it's sweet. It's musically sweet. This equaliser. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> There you go, that's the EQ73. It's a cracking little equaliser.